All right, so today I got something new for you guys. I'm gonna show you everything that was wrong with this engine that came in. So backstory, 2014 bike. In 2015, he took it apart to do a eight mil long rod stroker, bought parts from a, from a shop, proceeded to bring it to a Honda dealer to put it together. That's when everything went wrong. So I'm gonna show you uh, what's going on, the issues with, uh, with this motor and what we're gonna do to correct it. So he brought me the, the bike to get it running and tune. Uh, we got it running shortly, put it on the dyno, it was blowing a bunch of smoke, uh, burning a ton of oil. So we quickly shut it down, told him, hey, there's an issue most likely with the rings, and we proceeded from there. So the oil ring issue, normal set of oil rings. First thing that, uh, that caught my eye is this is a stroker piston, and the stroker pistons need a uh, support rail that sits underneath the oil ring assembly that covers this gap and that was missing the oil support rail was missing what else i noticed is these two rings are two different colors and two different widths so um, this is out of an entirely diff different piston most likely they broke the uh the brother to that and substituted with uh, something else so you can see as how that wrist pin bore goes through that uh, lower oil rail land. So that was the issue with smoking. But as I started pulling this motor apart, I noticed some stuff right away that was a was a major issue or concern. One is one is this piston has a lot of damage that there's no reason for it to be there. Somebody was prying on this cylinder and head assembly. You can see right here at the top, there's uh, some major, uh, some major damage. That head gasket would have blown right away pretty soon either way. Um, there's some scoring. This side's not so bad. Um, this side's pretty bad on uh, the scoring on that. The top of the cylinder is just kind of all beat up. And um, what else I notice is there's quite a bit of hammering marks on the bottom of the cylinder, which uh, is pretty interesting. One other thing is, see how that dowel hole is dirty and that one is clean? Well, they only had one dowel in the, uh, for the head gasket. So that's kind of bizarre. And one other thing inside this bore, there's some weird wear there. It's a little hard to see. The abnormal wear inside that circle area. That could have been caught to start, but that's not all. This, uh, this list of damage, it's going to be a long video. So um, if you guys are watching, if you entertained by this, you know, hit the like button. Um, and I'll do some more videos like this as we take bikes apart. So they failed to even file the oil rings or, or the, the compression ring. This is the second ring. Um, I can't even push this ring down square in the bore because it is less than zero gap so luckily this engine didn't completely grenade we only ran it for a short amount of time but absolutely no ring gap and they must have been fighting with that to get that piston in there um, same with this top ring there's almost no gap in there Let's see. Almost no gap in that top ring. So, major issues there. It's it's almost comical that somebody forced this thing together. There's a couple other issues with this cylinder. 
And besides like a lot of scarring and more pry marks on the bottom of the cylinder, they, uh, they failed to check the depth of the cylinder to the cases. And come on, let's focus. Okay, so in this area here, this is like distorted, pushed over, um, kind of fracturing away on that cylinder sleeve. And what was going on is they didn't check the depth or the fitment of the cylinder before torquing it down. So it was hitting inside the case and hitting on that step and damaging that cylinder. So end up with a, uh, end up with a cylinder that's damaged. Uh, that really needs too much uh, work to be repairable or or worthwhile. Put that over there. Um, on to the next thing we found is so at this point we got a cylinder down, we got a piston down, the cylinder head we already machined, so there's nothing to really show there, but it had a bunch of damage. The next thing there was is the um, camshaft chain. So on these tall motors, you gotta extend the chain and somebody did a really poor job of doing so on this one. When I do these extended chains, you can barely see the see where it's been uh, cut and spliced because there's not a, a factory production chain in this length. But this one's all kinked up, all bound up, and has these two really harsh uh, uh, dimples on these on that chain assembly. So, so that's why that chain all bound up. So that chain's gonna get replaced. Um, base gaskets. This is kind of a really simple thing that's overlooked. Is the factory base gasket has uh, silicone. Uh, embedding on uh, this area here and it seals the uh, the edge of the cases when they come together on both sides so not a big deal but they normally leak if you don't add silicone there um let's see what else okay so that, that kind of covered the top end of the engine nothing really too much going on in the valve train stuff we, we'll check that over again but Getting into this engine, I noticed that there are new cases, and in this hole here for the uh, the starter uh, reduction gear, there's no bushing in there. So um, there's the gear that goes in there. It's uh, a little too big for the hole. Hole's a little too big for the the piece there. So so that was wrong. The uh, there's no Loctite on the. Uh, flywheel nut that was something we did early on i've seen so many come in that guys built that i normally just pull them off and lock tie them before i ever even proceed on uh, working on the engine or uh or dynoing them so all right so what else did we have um that does it for the top end so i seen all all this stuff wrong call the customer and said hey we got to get into the bottom end of this engine. There's no knowing. If they did all these things wrong, there's no knowing what uh, what else is wrong in the bottom end, and I am glad we're, we did. So, in the engine, there's nothing, nothing too terrible in, in the internals of the engine besides all of the screws that held any anything in none of them were loctited um the uh the strap that holds this bearing and the oil pickup none of that stuff was loctited so if those bolts ever got um you know a little hot or, or a little reduced on on torque from heat expansion then they would just vibrate out and then cause a terminal engine failure so Inside this case, there's one more thing, and, and you probably, let's see, I'll give you give you five seconds to guess what else is wrong inside of here. And you probably won't guess it. Let's see. All right, so inside this engine, 